I started out by cutting out all the legs for the tables and I'm making this out of mostly just scrap wood and stuff I had lying around and you can see that this is from that built-in bookshelf I made a while ago and so I just cut out four legs from that over at the table saw. And I wanted these legs to taper towards the bottom, so I'm marking that out, and then I'll cut that out at the bandsaw and clean it up with a plane. Now I'm cutting a mortise in two sides of each of the legs using the plunge router. And this is going to hold the panels that are going to be the sides of the end tables. Next I made the eight stretchers or whatever you want to call them that connect each of the legs together. I cut eight of these stretcher things and since two of the sides of the end table are longer than the other two, four of these stretchers had to be longer than the other four, if that makes sense. Now I'm just cutting a dado in all of these pieces that's going to hold the panels that I'll cut later. Four of these pieces are going to be on the bottom side of the end table, and for those ones I needed to cut a dado to hold the bottom panel. I'm going to be cutting tenons on the ends of each of these stretchers, and that is going to fit into the bottom of those mortises I cut in the legs earlier. The stretchers meet in the middle of each leg with a corner overlapping, 
and this makes it impossible for both stretchers to fit in the leg at once. And because of this, I had to notch out the corner of the front and back stretchers and panels. Now I'm cutting all four side panels, and the piece that I bought to make the panels was a little bit too long for the table saw at first, so for those first few cuts I used a circular saw, and then for the rest of the panels I used the table saw. Again, I had to notch out both of the sides of two of the panels so that it would fit into the leg. Now I'm cutting the front panel, which has a door in it, so I just cut the panel as I usually would, and then I just cut a door out of the middle of it. I want this to match the other furniture in our house, and a lot of the other furniture in our house is like rustic and has these grooves in it. And to replicate that, I'm just going to make multiple cuts on the table saw with the blade lowered. Now I have all the side pieces cut and I'm gluing everything together, and hopefully now you can see how everything fits. And it'll make a little bit more sense. Since the door itself doesn't need to fit into that dado I cut earlier, I'm just filling it in with a piece of wood I cut and chiseling away the extra. Now I'm drilling a bunch of holes on the inside of the uh, end table for some adjustable shelves later. Next I cut the top to size and cut out the mortises to fit onto the top of the table. And now I'm just using a file to tweak the mortise until it fits right.
Next I'm cutting out the bottom panel, and you can see here that I'm going to need to notch out the corners. Next I sanded everything with 60 grit to get it rough so the paint would stick better, and then I painted everything white. And now with it all painted, I'm sanding everything smooth, and the other furniture in our house has a rustic, beat up look to it, so I'm actually sanding it a little bit more so that you can see the wood coming through in some spots. last step was to screw the hinges onto the door and onto the front of the end table and then put on the handle. <laughs> 